Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday night. It is the Earthmaster out here, 1028 p.m. California time, December 30th, 2024. Just one more day left here in this year. Latest activity here on the globe shows a 2.2 earthquake into Alaska. We'll get to that here in just a little bit. Want to chat about uh, the expected solar wind stream, solar elevated aurora activity this evening. Now, looking at the kp index down here it looks like we have not seen the arrival of the expected cme which is um if i recall right it's supposed to be around 11 p.m here in about half an hour california time uh, so nothing really stirring up yet this is going to be kind of a late early morning perhaps during the day on tuesday event at least for us here on the north american side of the planet now going to be an iffy one uh so we'll have to see if how i'm not going to stay up all night but uh for those that may want to uh looks like things may uh kick up a little bit later um hopefully now that all has to do with the solar wind stream um graph here um the bt bz component there of the interplanetary magnetic field is um actually open uh, right now which is good sign because normally when this is south of this line below this line that means that uh, any wind stream that does flow into the planet will amplify the auroras would be amplified there so uh, that is a good sign right there i don't see anything that tells me that uh, the cme has missed us or passed us or gave us uh, a glancing blow so we're still waiting on the arrival of that expected cme and again, it, uh, it could be coming in, coming in at any time right now. And we are expecting up to a G3 class storm. Now, this is what it could look like here later tonight. Um, early Tuesday morning. Aurora, very uh, possible out there. Down here to the view line. That includes the northern tier states. A lot of cloud cover out here, unfortunately. But uh, that is what it could look like as we get, uh, you know, ho hopefully as it comes around we'll continue to watch and wait for that uh, flare threat still remains elevated here at a 30 percent chance for the x flare category it's fairly decent we've seen uh, two of those here in the last couple days a number of m flares as well I, probably too many to count uh, these are just the m2 plus in the last 48 hours over here on the chart so uh, a lot coming in still Got an 80% chance for the M flare, 99% certainty, obviously, for the C flare category. Number of sunspots out there, a lot on the western limb that are currently flaring. Not really too concerned with that. There is a massive area right here that is center disk of the sun and directly looking at us the pl on here on the planet, planet Earth, of course. And I uh, got to watch that because that's uh, an active area that could be. Uh, giving us uh, an X flare or so here in the next couple days. We'll watch for that closely. Uh, earthquake activity. We'll check back on that space weather here at the end of this update just to see if uh, anything's come in yet. A uh, number of earthquakes up here in Northern California throughout the day today. Quite a few twos and uh, looks like they actually included a one for once. Uh, 1.5 there, but uh, a handful of earthquakes there in the two range. I'm going to double check the... Um, trimmer map here tonight see what we have for cascadia trimmer only about 28 epicenters of trimmer not that big of a deal a little bit there around the uh, oregon area and underneath northern california that could be why we're seeing a little bit of amplified conditions out here just even a little bit of trimmer into the cascadia subduction zone seems to be straining the area upstream where the locked area is so watch that obviously you know, it's uh, it's coming, a big one, but uh, who knows when. It could be any time. It could be in the next 50 years. Um, all I know is the southern segment here of the Cascadia subduction zone getting up on that regular uh, reoccurrence interval time period. In fact, I think we're past that time period now. Uh, so it could be at uh, it could be at any given time. I don't, you know, there's always a chance we could see a full rupture or a partial rupture somewhere, but, uh, um, you know, we got to watch for these little signs here and uh, the trimmer activity is key into um, hopefully one day forecasting when the next big one will take place but you know we, 
I wasn't here back in 1700 during the last event, so we have to watch all the graphs, look at all the information, put it all together, and then after the fact, um, you know, maybe put that out uh, for future generations here. Uh, Pacific Northwest, relatively quiet through the Bay Area of San Francisco region. Pretty quiet. Just a handful of smaller quakes there for now. Nevada is still swarming over here. Uh, actually, a pretty decent number here in the last 24 hours with 31 earthquakes of a lot of ones here. That's the thing. They've, they've reported all the earthquakes that have happened out here. They haven't just stopped at 2.0 and left all the ones um, unsaid, so to speak. They've actually reported all of them. And if we look... At the last 30 days here, that's a, a decent number for a 5.7 earthquake that struck here a couple weeks back. Over 600 earthquakes, and uh, that's still continuing today with a, a bunch of ones and a bunch of twos out there. Pretty crazy. That's actually a, a decent number. So things are elevated out here still, starting to get elevated activity back across Northern California. Um, Southern California is a quiet spot again. Really not seeing anything of any major interest. Uh, a little 1.1 across this area outside the uh, Tehachapi area. One earthquake on the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault here, a little 0.6, but really nothing of any uh, interesting activity out there for now. No major swarms, uh, nothing going on out there. Yellowstone National Park, nothing showing up on the map. At least from the USGS side, but uh, as always, I do want to verify. Uh, I'm not well. Uh, things looking pretty quiet out there. That was a distant earthquake out here. Uh, this quake right here. I'm not for sure exactly where that one came. Where that one was uh, based at. Looks like a few hours ago. What do we have out here? A few hours ago. Nothing. Nothing big across the planet, but there was some some reading right here. Purple Mountain, Maple Creek, Mary Lake. Looks like it picked it up on the promontory as well. Parker Peak. This almost looks like it's something... Um, definitely not across here. I don't think it's picking up the threes in Nevada. Uh, it's got to be something maybe over here in eastern Wyoming that uh, looks like it's a little bit stronger across this side of the, uh, of the national park there, Yellowstone. So, uh, but, yeah, a couple earthquakes out here. Really nothing big. I'll have to check back on that and see if they add a, a, uh, a quake up on the map because there's definitely something that uh, was picked up there. Uh, the rest of the country, pretty quiet. New Madrid seismic zone quiet for now as well, except for one little... One little small earthquake there this morning, a little 2.0. Uh, Hawaii still seeing some activity out here. Got, uh, uh, let's see, that was early this morning. A couple twos out there is noted. Really not anything major going on. I think they're still seeing that eruption. I'll verify that. Oh, yeah, still sizzling quite nicely there across the Kilauea Volcano. You know, the world's one of the world's most active volcanoes out there, so this is nothing new. And it's uh, slowly filling up that lava lake area. I'd say uh, this should continue for a little while. I've seen a couple pauses there in the eruption, but it uh, looks like uh, that's going to be a, a consist consistent thing for a little bit. Look at that uh, fountain going on here. Beautiful tree there. That's a, actually an awesome photograph. Always got an eye for certain directions, and having that old tree there in the in the foreground is uh, pretty awesome. A lot of fountaining going on there. You can see it splashing up. Um, they got a live stream there on you on um, on YouTube if you want to check it out. Uh, it's up there on their page somewhere, but pretty neat to see. Um, let's see here, and uh, let's check out the deformation data up there. Kind of going down, right? That makes sense here in the last two days since the eruptions uh, began. They're across the uh, Kilauea volcano, depleting the magma below. But, uh, you know, this has been going up for a little while here. So hard to say how long this is going to last. It may last for a few more days. Um, but also at the same time, that deep earthquake activity here underneath Pahala and some larger events there, 4.3 this morning. Uh, is a good indicator there of things starting to maybe come back up further uh, to uh, amplify 
the uh, magma accumulation uh, flow, so to speak. Uh, so we'll have to watch that. Either way, it's a beautiful sight. Nothing major going on up there in Alaska for now. A couple earthquakes up there, nothing big. Across the rest of the world, Ethiopia is still rocking and rolling out here with a number of earthquakes. I think uh, uh, this volcano there, it's very close to this um, Rift Valley volcano there in Ethiopia. It's called the Fantel Volcano. Last eruption was back in 1820 uh, when a uh, four kilometer long fissure eruption occurred on the eastern flank. And of course, uh, this volcano here, very possible, could see e you know explosive eruptions there. Um, so we got a decent swarm occurring around that volcano, mainly here across the northern end. And the depth of these earthquakes here, about six miles or so, are indicative of uh, some type of magma intrusion event going on here across this area. Uh, if we look at the last 30 days, we got 31 earthquakes here of some decent magnitudes. The 5.1 there, I believe, is the largest magnitude. And they had a uh, somewhat of a similar swarm a few months back. So this is uh, looking likely that we'll see an eruption there uh, pretty soon. The current status of the volcano, uh, minor activity or eruption warning. Of course, elevated earthquake activity around a volcano uh, most of the time, not all the time, though, leads to uh, you know some type of eruption. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that that area out there looking quite active. The rest of the uh, globe here, three-pointer, Java Trench. I mean, over overall today, it's been moderate in terms of any, you know, earthquake activity. Obviously, we have a lot, but in terms of large magnitudes here, they're really uh, not a whole lot here. 4.8 is the largest, and that's down in the uh, Ethiopia area where that volcano is. So, uh, typical day. I guess, um, in terms of earthquake activity out here. Nothing major going on there across New Zealand. We'll just kind of keep an eye on things here. We got uh, still got that swarm going on there in the uh, Peru Chile Trench with some northward migration here. Uh, 4.5 off the coast there, uh, Peru. 1.3 California. What is that? Let's see here. Not showing up yet on the USGS map. Well, that, yeah, it's 1.3 right there on the geysers. Of course, that's very typical. That's the uh, Clear Lake Volcanic Field where there's a lot of ongoing geothermal uh, facilities. Uh, this activity up there in Nevada died out this morning, so nothing new to report on that. So definitely uh, keep an eye on things. Uh, hard yeah pretty quiet out there right now you know it's as far as the auroras go we're just gonna have to watch and see when it comes in and as of right now if things decide to kick up here in the next couple hours it may be favorable for for the uh auroras up there at the higher latitudes with this type of uh uh line here with this red line being south the bz component there of the interplanetary magnetic field uh, bottom of this line when it's up tight like this above that line next to the black line here that's basically an an aurora suppression keeps most of the uh auroras at bay even though we have you know like a, a strong solar storm it could still um do its job and prevent the aurora activity from occurring so we'll watch that either way you know i'm not going to stay up all night I'm pretty tired. You got to get up early in the morning. The, the girls are sick. Uh, it's just a never ending battle out here. Seems like illnesses are going around consistently. So we got to take them both to the doctor. I just got through having a coughing fit, you know, over the past couple months here. So I'm hoping I don't get sick again. It's just, it's crazy, <clears throat> crazy stuff going on here. Seems like everyone's sick. Uh, severe weather, nothing, go nothing major going on out here for now. Uh, look at the numerical models. Um, we'll put this weather model into motion here. Got uh, some more rain coming into California, West Coast, it looks like, on the weekend time period here. A lot of cold air starting to venture down there across the eastern portion of the country, and that's going to be a mess um, as we enter into the new year. We're talking about ice storms. 
uh, snow, you know, Oklahoma snow. We may even see that dip down south. There's been some chat about maybe even seeing, seeing some snow down in Florida. Um, and that's going to be interesting to see if that takes place there or not. That's pretty close. But there's a lot of cold air coming in. And uh, look at that, all the way down into the Gulf of Mexico. A lot of cold air. That's, you know, yeah, it happens, right? We do get these brutal winters on occasion. And when it stays like that, uh, that's great for these guys, you know, if you like the winter time. But that here in the West Coast, that keeps us dry. I don't want that. So I'd rather have high pressure, and you guys can have the warmer temperatures over here. I'll take the storminess along the West Coast. But right now, wow, it's looking high and dry out here across California for for the uh, first couple weeks of the 2025 time period. All right, seismograph stations, quiet as a mouse. Well, I, I don't. mice aren't really that quiet, right, when they're sitting there chewing on things. So it's just quiet. Not a whole lot happening right now. We'll catch you guys back out here in the morning. Just stay safe, and uh, we'll see you guys here after a few hours of sleep, hopefully. Have a good one.